welcome back to my channel my name is May and on today's video I thought I'd do something a little bit different than our typical review or unboxing I kind of wanted to get into the styling aspect of this video as I really do like to find different ways to style my handbags I do have three particular handbags that I will be talking about today with three specific outfits that I think you can definitely incorporate any of these handbags into. The way that I wanted to go about it was basically go on the specific occasion and let you know how you can incorporate these handbags depending on your style or the way that you like to use them or the amount of things that you like to carry. So we'll have an office or a work outfit. We will also have a night out or kind of running errands type of outfit. And then we will have a travel outfit. After so many outfits, I decided to stay in the travel outfit because it is the most comfortable. But I did go ahead and record cutaways for you guys just to give you more or less an idea on how you can pair the handbags with the outfits. Now, for those of you returning, thank you so, so much for coming back and for your support. But if you are new here and like this type of content, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the family. I tend to do a lot of luxury reviews, some unboxings here and there, and then I love incorporating the fashion and style aspect to it as well. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into the three bags which we will be discussing today. And we'll start off with the Pochette Matisse. We also have the infamous Speedy 25, the bandolier in the Damier band print. And then, of course, we can't do a styling outfit with the most iconic of them all. Oh, what happened here? <laughs> so we do also have the Neverfull in the MM size. Now, if you are wondering why I only stuck with Louis Vuitton, it's because I do think that they are a good first luxury brand to dive into. I do know of a lot of people that when they go about buying their first luxury handbag, the fashion house that they lean towards is Louis Vuitton. So that is mainly the reason why I wanted to stick with this brand. Obviously these outfits you can incorporate with any type of bag that you have, but I kind of more or less wanted to go based on the fashion house as well as the style of handbags that I will be discussing. Now, first off, I do have a office or workwear outfit. And as you will see in the cutaways, I started with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size. I personally think that this is a great work bag. I mean, if you can incorporate this bag into any occasion in your lifestyle, work would definitely be the it one for me. I used to carry it all the time when I would go into the office. It's so spacious and holds so, so much. As you will see, you can put in a laptop, you can put in your agenda. You can also even carry a cardigan inside if you tend to get cold. I remember I used to get cold all the time in the office, so I always wanted to take an extra sweater inside my bag. And this bag really just gave me the capability of being able to add everything and anything inside. So I do think if you go into an office where you have to take a lot of things, the Neverfull is the perfect bag for that occasion. Now I'll move right along to the Speedy B25 for the same type of occasion. This one obviously is a little bit smaller, but it still has a lot of room for you to fit your essentials. You could totally fit a water bottle in here, maybe a very small notebook, and then obviously everything else that you would normally carry. You do have the strap option, which is major. If you not only carry your bag, but maybe carry a lunchbox, maybe carry some boxes, you know, other things that you need to carry before you make it into the office, this is a great option to have the crossbody strap because you can place it both on your shoulder and obviously crossbody, giving you that hands-free option. And then last but not least, for all my minimalists out there, we do have the Pochette Matisse. This is a very simple go-to bag. I think you could just carry your essentials, wallet, maybe your ID badge, you know, sunglasses or reading glasses, and you're on your way. You will not fit a book in here, a Kindle, a laptop, all of that good stuff. For that, just go ahead, write with the Neverfull. All right, so the next style of outfit that I went ahead and put together was kind of like a night out or a girl's night out kind of outfit. You know, you just throw on a pair of jeans, a cute top, some cute heels, and then here's where we incorporate these three bags and how they can be totally different depending on each person. We'll start off with the Neverfull, and 
obviously it is a bigger bag so for a night out it probably won't be the most ideal if you want to carry it like so because maybe you're a mom and you have to carry a lot of things or if you just don't like downsizing at all then you can totally keep the bag as is but as i show in the cutaways you can definitely cinch in the sides Here we go. So like I mentioned, you can cinch in the sides as you can see with the Neverfull, which is something that I love just overall about the bag. And it does give you kind of like a smaller look. So it is a little bit more fitted to the body. You don't have the wide angles coming out. So if it's something you can always carry it top handle like so, or you can put it in the crook on your arm as well. And it does become a little bit of a smaller bag while still being able to carry whatever it is that you feel like you cannot leave behind. Now, I think most of us will agree that for a night out, we would like to opt out for a smaller kind of bag. And personally, I usually tend to lean with my pochette Matisse. This style, like I said, is just so minimalist. You know, you basically just carry your main things that you know you're going to need for the night and then you're on your way. You have the cute way of carrying it top handle like so if you wanted to but then you also have the crossbody strap available in case you get tired or you don't want to carry it like this you can always just put it on your shoulder or crossbody and then out of the three i do think that the speedy 25 is the cutest for a night out you obviously do have the crossbody strap, which you can opt for, but I love using it as a top handle bag. You know, if you're going to dinner, it doesn't take up a lot of space. If you are going to more of a club scene kind of atmosphere, I would totally go with the pochette Matisse, but this is just if you're gonna go walk around town or, you know, on a date, something very simple. And then again, it still allows you to carry your essentials because we all know speedies are a deep black hole. So it's awesome to have that option along with looking very, very elegant and chic. Now for one of my favorite categories out of the bunch, we do have the travel option. So I kind of wanted to put together a travel outfit, very comfortable, very laid back but also incorporate these three bags as you can use them for totally different ways while on your travels. I'm talking about actually being on your destination, not as a personal item. I think we all would agree that the Never Fool would be the ideal personal item, but it's also a bag that you can use while you're out and about wondering. So we'll start off with the infamous Never Fool. You can totally keep this cinched in look. I think it's actually a little bit more secure since it is a tote style and it does not offer a zipper. But if you did need more space or just felt more comfortable with its original silhouette, you can always cinch it back out and carry it like so. Since it doesn't offer a zipper, I would just recommend to carry your things maybe inside pouches so you don't have everything laying around. But overall, I think it's a great size. It's very comfortable to carry in general and it is a very lightweight bag. If you are a mom and you need to carry a lot more things or if you are like me and you need to carry a tripod, a camera, a water bottle, so on and so forth. I really do think that this size is ideal to just wander during the day. So I'll feature both of these together because you guys know that these are my all time favorite travel bags. I really don't think I can pick one or the other. The Speedy B has the great option that you can pack it very easily as you can more or less accommodate it in your carry on and it won't take up a lot of space. It's also a very spacious bag. She's not as large as the Neverfull, but she still offers a lot of size for you to be able to fit in your essentials and a little bit more. If you maybe want to carry a smaller tripod or just want to have space to be able to hold your water bottle throughout the day, then the Speedy would obviously be ideal for that. You also have the crossbody option, which is great, especially during your travels. You want to have the possibility of being hands-free. Now, as per the Pochette Matisse, we all know she is my travel go-to. She has been through a lot of cities around the world, and I still love, love, love taking this bag as my main travel piece. I feel like she's very comfortable. She's very compact, doesn't take up a lot of space. I usually just pack her inside of my personal item and on she goes. 
So this will be a great option as well. It is a bag that you can turn from day to night very, very easily. And for me, that is key. I want to be able to take a bag that looks good with a pair of sneakers and some tights, as well as a nice outfit for a night out. So there you have it. I went ahead and styled three different outfits for three different occasions with three different Louis Vuitton handbags. Louis Vuitton overall is one of my favorite brands and I do feel like they offer great silhouettes no matter what your lifestyle requires. So these three in particular, I really do feel fit in everyone's lifestyle and can be incorporated in different occasions as I've shown you. Also, as I always tell you guys, I love starting conversations down below. So let me know which one you liked most or if you have any different bag that you incorporate no matter what type of occasion it is, let me know as well. Thank you again for taking some time to watch this video and I'll catch you guys on my next one. Have a great day, guys.